What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a different video format today. Um, I want to show you guys a walkthrough of the new Lullalai phone app, which just came out. I'll leave the links in the description if you want to download this app. But I figured what better way to show you all the amazing features and benefits of this app than just to give you a straight up walkthrough. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos about music production, uh, music software, please consider hitting that subscribe button and check out some of the other videos we have on this channel. So this is a new phone app by Lullalai and you'll see throughout this video what it does, but this is basically an app that I would recommend for basically anyone working with any type of audio. Whether you're a singer, a beat maker, a musician, uh, if you're a content creator making stuff for Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, if you're recording voice memos, if you're doing overlays, if you're creating podcasts, basically any type of audio creator I think will benefit from having this app. And I'm going to show you why. So basically what this app does is it uses AI to um, separate certain elements from a song. So if you think about a whole song, you know, there's the drums, there might be pianos, there might be vocals, um, electric guitars. What this app is, allows you to do is basically take out those specific elements and keep other ones in or remove more of them. It's a really powerful tool. What it also allows you to do is clean up your voice. So if you're recording, um, you know, voice memos through your phone, uh, if you're doing it outside on a windy day or there's raining or you got, you know, the AC going, uh, what this app can do is actually clean up the audio. And that's one of the great things I think, you know, this app allows is it allows you to record stuff that easy. Like you'll see in a few minutes how I can just take stuff from my iPhone's uh, photo library and start working with it. So yeah, really, really recommend this for any, uh, audio creator just because of how easy and simple it is to have this on your phone. So this is the interface here. What I love about it is the simplicity. Just keeps things, you know, straight to the point. There are two options here when I press on split files and I'm gonna start with the photo library just because I, like as I was saying, I love how it allows you to work with files straight from your phone, which makes it really, really easy to work with. So let's click on photo library. And earlier today I recorded, just for this video and just for testing things, I recorded uh, my computer screen playing a clip of the uh, song by the weekend um, out of time just because I wanted to work with it and I wanted to test how it would do with my phone's uh, microphone since I'm recording it straight from my phone. So let's add that here. Uh, and you can see here that there are a couple of well, not a couple, there's a lot of options I can do. I can do vocal instrumental. Let me even zoom in a little bit here. I can take, basically, I can separate the vocal and instrumental. I can take out the drums, the bass, the guitars, pianos, synthesizers, and uh, it'll basically remove that section from the song. So let's go with the vocal and instrumental first. I wanna see how well it does on picking up the weekend's voice from my phone. And I'm just gonna press start processing. Okay, now that that's processed, it'll give us a preview of how it sounds with the vocal separate from the instrumental. So let's go ahead and give this a listen. I want to click on the vocal and see how it, how well it picked it up. <laughs> that's pretty powerful. I've, you know, as great as the quality recording stuff through my iPhone's camera is, I've always felt like my iPhone's microphone hasn't picked up the uh, greatest quality. So definitely impressed with that. Let's actually try one other thing here. Let's go back, photo library, use that same recording. I wanna see how well it picks up the drums. Again, for my phone recording, that isn't the best quality, but let's see how well it picks up the drums and separates it from this track. All right, so let's preview what the drums are like, either removed or from this track. And then play the drums on their own. So that was from the photo library. If you have songs saved on your phone, uh, you can work with those as well. So higher quality audio straight from your phone. I'll also show you after what you can do to voice recordings, but let's just start with uh, some more audio here. So I actually took that audio from the weekend song. I wanted to see how it would sound with a higher audio quality. So 
This is basically the same clip from that weekend song, but just instead of my phone's microphone, this is the actual recording. And um, let's see what we can take out here. I was a big fan of using the drums. And I'd press that. You know, I feel like if I was a drummer and I was working on, you know, drum covers and trying to basically understand, you know, how to get better at the drums, I would use this app because it would, you know, give me an idea of how the drums sound on the track without all the distractions of the, you know, vocals and bass and guitars. Uh, it allows me to just hear the drums on their own. So let's hear how that sounds. And then, you know, like I was saying, if I wanted to play along with my own drums, this would be the perfect opportunity for me to do so. So I wanted to do one other thing here, and I wanted to try the uh, voice cleaner option here. So I recorded a kind of example voice memo from my uh, iPhone's internal microphone i put it up to the fan on my laptop just to simulate a bunch of background noise you know whether it be rain or wind or what have you uh i'll play the raw recording here okay so this is me just talking i want to see how the vocal cleaner sounds and uh let's see how we can basically clean up that audio you know obviously if i was posting that voice memo there's no way i could post it online with all that background noise without it sounding unprofessional and even just listening back to it like it's it's so distracting so let's click the voice and noise option and start processing this all right so you guys heard how it sounded before with all that background noise that was my computer fan but like i said it sounded so much like wind or whatever let's uh hear how the voice sounds without all that background noise okay so this is me just talking i want to see how the vocal cleaner sounds it sounds pretty good. Uh, this is, again, this is why I would recommend this to anyone doing, you know, audio work from their phone. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, I will leave the links in the description if you want to download this app for yourself. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.